What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, JB, and we are here today with a brand new show that is produced by Carlos King. Oh my God. Every show by Carlos King that I have watched, I have enjoyed every one of them, and this is no exception. I can't think of no, I can't even think of a show by Carlos King that I have not liked. Only show by Carlos King that I can tell you that I've never watched was The Next 15 with New York and um, Gloria Goban. She's the reason I didn't watch that show because I don't like Gloria. Not Gloria, Laura. So yeah, I didn't watch that show, but I watched everything else. Hollywood Divas. You guys, I mean, you guys see that I re reviewed, um, you know, Bell Collective as well as um, Love and Marriage Huntsville. But this show, Carlos, you got a hit, buddy. You got another hit on your hands. So this is BT Presents The Encore. Now, before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on this channel and you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that button, hit that notification bell button. So hit that subscribe button, notification bell button, stop taking me out on dates and not paying for it. Now, without further ado, let's talk about this show, you guys. It was hilarious. All right, you guys, so BT Presents The Encore. Um, actually, I didn't even say what the name of the episode. It's the season one, episode one, Let the Music Play. So, this show is bringing together nine different women from various girl groups as well as a solo artist. So, they're supposed to live in this house for 30 days. They're going to make an album. <laughs> they're going to perform. I was like, ooh, this is going to be interesting especially when we got all the ladies in the house and the personalities. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Now, if this actually goes into fruition, I would actually have to hear how to, how to you know, how to single sound because um, in this first episode alone, some of the voices that you heard, it's a no for me, buddy. It's a no. A hell's no. An absolute hell no. And then it's a not, I mean, I, I mean, Unless the, I mean, only time that I've seen groups of more than five is like the K-pop kids. I know that they have more than, you know, those groups usually have more people in it, but I ain't never saw no group of nine people in it. Nine people. Nine people. Nine. So, we see as everyone is pulling up to the house, the first two people to pull up to the house are Fallon and Felicia, and they are from the girl group Cherish. Do it, do it, do it, do it. You know the world be rocking to it, to it. So do it, do it. That was my shit. Then the next person who pulled up was Pamela from Total. I was like, wait a minute, there go that bug. So the next person was Pamela. And I was like, Pamela? I'm like, didn't Pam just, oops. Didn't Pam have a whole issue last year or the year before where she accused um, someone of, nope, we're not going to mention that. But y'all know what I'm going to say. So then, so the shade immediately started when Pam walked into the house because I don't know if it was Fallon. It was Fallon. Fallon was like, oh, she was talking about, <laughs> she age shamed um, Pam. I was like, oh my God. The ageism started already. I'm like, oh my God, we are already starting and y'all just walked into the house. But actually she said in her confessional. So then um, next up was Nivea. And then we got, I want to see them shoulders bouncing with Shamari DeVoe from um, Black. <laughs> Shamari. I'm going to need them to give Shamari alcohol because Shamari is hella fun with alcohol. You guys remember when she was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. I miss Shamari on Atlanta Housewives. I really do miss Shamari. So then we got Aubrey O'Day from Danny D. Kane. Oh my God. Aubrey O'Day. Girl, you have had a lot of surgery. I had a lot of surgery. Those lips were plumped. Your breasts are huge. Your body is big. It's like, girl, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to become a sumo wrestler? Oh, if I was Aubrey, I would sue her doctor because your doctor jacked you up. 
and you know, I'm all here for plastic surgery, but good God dang, how much plastic surgery is enough? Seriously. So then we got Irish and Lamisha from 702. Child, if they didn't give me the names of who they were, I would have never rec I would have never guessed that they were. I would have never guessed. They don't look the same. And then we get the last person in the house. I'm getting a little tired of your broken pumethis pumethis. <laughs> it is Keely Williams from 3OW and from the Cheetah Girls. I was like, oh my God, y'all dug up. Y'all dug up. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So I will say that the studio is hella nice. Pam. Pam keeps talking about the fact that God led her there. I'm like, God led you to this house? This house? Girl, you know what? If you say so, I, I'm going to roll with the punches because I don't know if God led you here. But hey, I'm going to let you have that one, Pam. And I'm going to keep my mouth closed about the other stuff. So then Fallon. Fallon keeps talking about the girl's ages. It's like Fallon. Actually, because I just I really want to know how old Fallon is. Because you would think that Fallon is like 20 something years, 18 and 20, 18, 19, 20. Fallon. Like you would think that she's 18 years old. The way she's talking, they're 40. Oh my God, they're 40. Girl, you ain't no spring chicken. You ain't a spring chicken, boo boo. But you are at age 10. Fallon, she's 34 years old. Oh, girl, you older than I am. You're 34, and you keep talking about the fact that they're in their 40s. You not that far away from 40, love. Stop talking about these girls' ages. That was annoying me. That was annoying me. The fact that she kept talking about their ages. Um, Keely. <laughs> so Keely told the ladies that she is not there for the group. She's there to be their creative director. I was like, what? <laughs> the twins were not feeling this at all. The, the twins are Fallon and Felicia. They ain't feeling it. Then we find the twins start talking about how they are, are writers and stuff, how they wrote for Chris Brown, this person, that person. And I don't know if it was, I think it was Felicia who may have said that Fallon just found out that she was a millionaire. <laughs> and, <laughs> and leave it to Aubrey to shade her. She was like, not with that Claire's bracelet on. I was, and they zoomed in on the bracelet. I was like, oh my God, this show is a mess. Then Keely and Misha got into it. She was like, who are you? She said, my name is Lamisha. She's like, I wasn't being disrespectful. I was just asking. And Keely said, do you not know who she is? She says, actually, I don't. I cracked up laughing at that scene when she said, actually, I don't. I was like, oh my God. Nibia went into the in, into the um into the pantry and found some rice cakes. Nibia over there eating the rice cakes. I'm like, Nivia is me because I would be just sitting there watching the show because I mean that was hilarious because they just got in the house and they already arguing like that is it reminds me of bad girls club it reminds me of like you know big brother and all that kind of stuff because I watch big brother I'm like oh my god this is crazy but I'm here for it like I was here for it and that was just before the first commercial break. <laughs> that was the first, that was before the first commercial break. But let's move on, you guys. So I'm guessing this little motherfucking bug is trying to make a little cameo appearance in my video. So you might, might see him. I'm gonna get that little bitch eventually. I don't know, you know, I don't know how he got in here. I really don't. So then the, the twins actually ended up walking out that night, but they came back. So the next morning we see Pam and she's out there praying with the twins. I'm like, ooh, Pam and this religiousness. I ain't got nothing to say. 
So then we go to the TV and it's my girl, S -S 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 Cedar from Cedar's World. I'm like, oh, Cedar, you looking a little different, sis. You looking a whole lot different. Cedar done grew her hair out because Cedar used to have a fade back in the, didn't Cedar have a fade? I think Cedar had a fade. But yeah, so she tells the ladies what the m m mission is for them. They have to cut an album and they have, had a bit of, they have to do, they have 30 days to cut an, 30 days to cut an album and then they're going to do a performance. I was like, oh. Now, when I think about these girls, how many of them, because they have to do a performance and I'm just thinking like how many of these ladies are dancers? I know back in the 90, in the, in the 90s and the 2000s that with girl groups, they always, you know, in the, in the music videos, they always had, you know, a one-two step, you know, dance they always did. But, you know, we know that some of those girls back in those days, they weren't actually dancers. They were just doing that because that's what the labels wanted them to do. So then they meet up with the vocal coach. <laughs> the vocal coach. I don't know what she was listening to. Maybe she's deaf or hard of hearing. Because I don't know what homegirl was listening to. Because baby, when Keely started singing, was she singing Angel of Mine? I was like, oh my God. I was like, Fallon, she can't sing. But we all knew that. We all know that Keely can't sing. Keely has said that. I think Keely said that a long time ago that with the group she was supposed to be a, the rapper of the group right yeah keely can't sing baby i mean i was like oh girl what you doing it ain't good so then when nivia sang oh shit, dropped it so then when nivia sang fallon was like she was actually over there shaking her head no i'm like but nivia doesn't sound i think nivia could use um my bad y'all I think Nivea could just stand, you know, just some vocal, a little bit more vocal training and some warm ups. But Nivea didn't sound bad. Pam, I can't even remember really just hearing Pam's voice. I didn't know Pam's voice was as deep as it was. Um, Irish, ooh baby. Irish was just as bad as um. Irish was just as bad as Keely, if not worse. And I don't know how that's possible. Lamisha didn't sound too good either. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Lamisha didn't sound that great either. Shamari, we all know how Shamari is. She she kind of overdid it, to be quite honest with you guys, in my personal opinion. Who else we got? Aubrey, she, you know, we all know Aubrey can sing. We saw Aubrey on Making the Band. And then the twins sang. Now, for them to be talking so much shit, y'all voices ain't, y'all don't have, you know, um, y'all not Ariana Grande, y'all are not um Adele. I know I'm naming, I know I'm naming white people. I'm trying to think of some black people that I know that can sing, sing. I mean, y'all not Beyonce, y'all not Rihanna, you're not um Tamar Braxton, because they said that they wrote for Tamar. Y'all not Tamar, y'all not Tony. So yeah, the way that y'all been judging people so far, I don't know why y'all doing it, but okay. I'm not feeling the twins. Keeping it a buck, not feeling the twins. So then they go into the studio with the producer and I guess the writer, and they talk about what, they talk about the project. Pam immediately lets us know she ain't doing nothing that's not, you know, in the Bible. She wants to do stuff. She doesn't want to do anything about sex. If it's, you know, I guess if it's not in the Bible, I'm like, girl, the Bible? Let, nope, we're not going to talk about it. So then we figure out that all the girls have a different vision for the project. How is this going to work? This is going to be chaos. <laughs> chaos, chaos, chaos. All right, you guys, let's pause here and move forward. All right, you guys, then we get to the choreography. I was like, oh, God. You know, when they said choreography, I was expecting boom, boom, cat. Boom, boom, cat. I, I would love to have saw Lori Ann Gibson. Maybe they can afford, I don't know. But I would have loved to see Lori Ann. So, the choreography. Aubrey. Aubrey just looks stuffed. 
Cause she just when she was dancing, it's not bad. She just uh, she was just she just looked really plumped and stuffed. And I'm like, girl, you look like you're having a hard time with these movements. The twins did good. Shamari did good. Now the person that I did not expect to do so well was Keely. Keely did a, a good job. I was like, uh oh, was not expecting Keely to do that. Wasn't expecting that from Keely. Now the people who did the worst, Lamisha. Pam, Irish. Now, you know, Nivea was, so here's the thing that I'm no, I was noticing it. They're grouping them. They're, I noticed it right away. They're grouping, they're grouping them together. They're putting their, their different groups together. And I, I figured it out. I'm like, oh, so what they're going to do is they're going to try to stick the, quote, older ladies together. So that would be Lamisha. That would be Irish. That would be, and that would be Lamisha, Irish, and Pam but I don't know why they keep and see that's the thing about it even the twins keep trying to group Nivea with them and I'm like Nivea is not that old Nivea how old is Nivea because Nivea was out when I was a teenager and Nivea when I was she, Nivea first came out when and like so like around what when did Nivea first make her first when is her first out like Nivea's in her late thirties, right? Maybe early forties. Cause Nivea's not that much older than me. Cause Nivea came out in the early two thousands, and in the early Nivea's thirty nine. I knew Nivea wasn't that old, much older than me. I knew Nivea cause Nivea was like a teenager. She was cause of what Nivea came out like oh three, oh oh three or something like that. Don't mess with my man. When did that come out? That was in the 2000s. So the, the fact that the twins keep are grouping her with Pam, Lamisha, and Irish is like, huh? And that's why I kept, kept, couldn't, when it kept, came to the twin, especially Fallon, I'm like, why do you keep talking about Nivea? Nivea is only a few years older than you. And then I kept saying, like, girl, you would think that. You would really think that Fallon is in her 20s, her teens, but okay, girl. Mm. Now, what I will say, though, is for me, I do think that there should be two different groups. And the reason why I say two different groups is because one is just way too many fucking people. It's nine people. When have you ever saw a nine member group? And the issue with even um, with um, talk with 702, no, was it 702? Yeah, it was 702. When Lamisha was talking about her and Mila, she had an issue with the fact that Mila sang lead and she was backup. Well, girl, listening to you singing with that vocal coach, I see why you sang background. It ain't for you, boo. And I feel like with a nine-person group, y'all gonna be fighting over who gonna be the lead. And for this group, so if it was a nine-person group, who would I say would be the lead of this group? Honestly, Aubrey. Because I think Aubrey has the stronger vocals. Actually, come on. Actually, so for me, I think the first, actually, I think this, it would be two leads for me. The two leads for me would be Aubrey and, I didn't get it. The two leads for me would be Still didn't get it. The two leads for me would be Aubrey and Shamari. Those would be my two leads because they have the stronger vocals of anybody. Although the twins want to talk a big game, they vocals weren't there. Not at all. The vocals were not there. So Aubrey was having a conversation with the twins. And Aubrey told the twins that same thing that I just said, that she felt like there should be two different groups. Now, me personally, I would not have done the groups like that. I would have done, so there are nine women. So one group is gonna have four and one group is gonna have five. So for me, I would have grouped together. So for me, I would have put in a group 
in group one group, I would have put Shamari, I would have put Aubrey, and I would have put I would put Shamari and Aubrey in a group together for sure. I would probably put hmm, I would put Aubrey and Shamari, and I think I would get Pam and put him with Shamari and Aubrey. And then I would also grab Nivea. Cause I think that would be a I think that would be a dope one. If you put Nivea, Shamari, Aubrey, and Pam together, because that would be an interesting pairing. And then I would put so that's four, right? So then I would put the twins, Lamisha. You got the twins, Lamisha and um the twins, Lamisha, Irish and um Promethys, broken promethys, promethys. I will put them together. Yeah, that's what I would. I would do that. I, I, that's what I would do. But they went the they went the way that I feared they would go. They put the quote older girls together and put the quote I guess they're supposed to be the younger girls together. I don't know. But yeah, I wouldn't have put the twins with Aubrey and because what they. What did they do? They did four or five. So they did Lamisha, Irish, Pam, and Nivea. And then in the other group, well, actually, it's four four because um, Keely doesn't want to do it. She wants it to be all of them together. So then after that, you know, Keely was talking to the twins. She tells the twins that, you know, she feels like Aubrey is trying to be divisive. I don't know if she's been. I, I I didn't get the divisiveness. I just got the fact that hell is too many. It's too many of y'all in one group, and y'all should trim that shit down. So Iris told a story about her twin sister, which was really sad. The fact that her twin sister passed away. That is really sad. I always wonder what that's like to have a twin, and then to lose your twin. Like you guys, I told you, my uncles were twins, and they passed away months apart from each other. But the one that we didn't expect to pass away. He died first, and then the one that we had been expecting to, you know, pass away, he just he just wasn't the same after my uncle passed. He he was he really wasn't the same. So I was one, but that was really sad. Now the twins messy as hell because they went and told Aubrey what Keithy said about her, and Aubrey felt some type of way. She said, you know, I'm gonna talk to her about it. You know, she says all I know about Keely. Is what I heard from um 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 I was about to say Tasha, T Naturi, that you know Naturi said that Keely threw a bucket of chicken at her. I was like, oh my god, this show is going to be a mess. And Aubrey and Keely got into it by the end of the episode, and that was it, you guys. Oh my god, let me know what you guys thought about that episode. It was bananas, hilarious. I have never laughed so much in my life. I haven't laughed like that since Love and Hip Hop. Oh my God. But you guys, that's it. Let me know what you guys thought about this show, the first episode. I'm going to be back because it was hilarious. But without, with that being said, you guys, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop any goes and share this video. Until the next one, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear your mask or not. Whichever one you do, just be safe and doing so. Be blessed and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.